Well, I don't think the Enterprise is going to survive this, so um, I had a crack along here, but apparently it's much worse than I expected. It actually goes around the whole thing. You can see it flopping open right there. But the problem this brings is, that's the wrong one, there we go. So you can see, well, well, actually everything decided to work right now. But if I start fiddling around with this, you can see that the connection to the lights and the nacelles start to, to go wonky. So there's something in there broken, or uh, it was putting pressure on uh, my connection, which albeit was not the greatest when I put this together. It, it was pretty much held together with uh, uh, duct tape and super glue. Literally. Um, <laughs> so I don't know uh, if I'm going to be able to fix this because if I tamp it down and clamp it to fix it, I'm going to start getting... Yeah, let's see. So, um, since the rest of it's all working, I might uh, tear this sucker apart from the neck down and uh, try to make a uh, scratch-built Nebula class because I'm going to have to crack open the secondary hull to fix the wiring issues anyway. And, well, it actually looks like it's trying to work right now. But, yeah. um, so we'll, we'll see what I can do with it. I'm not going to totally give up on it yet, but she's definitely looking hurt right now. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. What a drag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... I'll, I'll keep working on this and see so, what I can do. Moral of the story is, when life throws you lemons and breaks your ship, you build a new ship. I'll be it's just taped together and it's all wonky, but I will get this sucker working. Unfortunately, the Enterprise did not survive. She died. She's dead, Jim. So, we're going to uh, build an impromptu Nebula class. And, uh, yeah, that should, be, <laughs> that should be fun. Right on, folks. So, I thought I'd go over how... I got my template for the pod that will soon to be the Nebula class here. Uh, actually, this was what it started out was a piece of paper. Um, and I opened up a reference picture of the top of the Nebula class that seemed about the right scale as this when I stretched it out. And I just took a piece, uh, a piece of paper, slipped it over the top, and outlined it very lightly so as not to hurt my laptop screen. And then I cut out a chunk of styrene. I can't remember how big this is. 0 0.30, I think, maybe? Anyway. And then uh, a piece of balsa wood underneath it. I'm probably going to have to make at least two of these because I think it's thicker. Um, but I can carve out the middle of it. It's got uh, two photon torpedo bays in the front and one in the rear. And from what I was looking at in the reference photos, there were a couple of lights on the edge of it on the front, but I'll probably ignore that. Maybe put the, the two at the top, uh, look like uh, navigation lights or collision lights. So we'll see where we get that one. This is going to be a little drawn out now. So where the warbird is concerned, um, I went in, I did a lot of putty work. There's still some that needs to be done. Um, Lots of sanding. I uh, pretty much cracked every seam on this thing. Um, we're almost ready to put down some paint again. I can still feel the edges, so that'll pop out when I put some paint on it. It'll be perfect, but we'll see what happens. Probably need a little more work. Need some more work here on the bottom portion of the head where it connects to the main body. Uh, I got most of this done. I need to do underneath here again. It's a little rough, and I can still feel seam lines on this guy. So I've got to take care of that. Got to. Uh, I'm thinking if I throw some paint on here, I don't know if I can get in close enough to see. There were some seam lines popped out on the nacelles, but they don't. I might have got them. Let's see, there's one, but. Some thick paint might get get rid of that, because I can't feel the seam. I just see it, so I might have sanded down into it a little bit more. Uh, I have a couple, I think this side still needs putty. You know, 
I got to get in here and do that. There's a huge, huge lip right here that uh, I'm going to have to get through. It wasn't so bad on the top. You can feel that there's a difference here, but at least it's all smooth along the way. Now, if we flip this bad boy over, I've got uh, my stuff on here to... Uh, Got some masking on here so I don't lose my feathered effect that I want to keep because I don't have the access to the color I used anymore. It's gone now. Um, this guy's good. There's uh, this side. Yeah. This side. I need to do this entire side. Top and bottom. Yeah. And then uh, somehow squeeze into there and uh, cover up the feathering on the inside. Because I don't want to lose that. Again, I don't have the color, and that would be ridiculous to have to paint again. So I'll get in there and uh, try to mask all that off so I don't lose any of the details that I wanted to keep. So I really like the feathering. And yeah, the green's a little bit dark, but I kind of like it instead of the, the pale, dull, gray-green that they show you. This one seems a little more realistic to me. Uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, gross. Let me come through here and redo this again, too. So, yeah, there's still a lot of uh, seam and putty work to do, but she's getting there. Um, all of the lights still light up, so that's good. Very good. Don't have any worries about that. I put that one together a little bit better than the Enterprise, apparently, so no big deal. Um, I will get to this sometime this weekend. I have a a tricorder prop I'm trying to build as well, but that requires me to do some some work with an Arduino, and there's some fun stuff involved. And then I still got to get the uh, base stuff worked out. But, yeah, uh, all together, we're, we're coming along. We're moving, but slowly. Uh, most of the gaps are gone now, so this is good. Very good. Uh, I have to get in on the inside of... May cells. Those uh, have a lot of light leaks. And pretty, pretty ugly. When I turn it on, so I'll take care of that too. Anyways, yeah, getting there. Well, got bit. some color back on her again, and managed to keep my feathering effect, which is cool. Still a lot more to do. There's a couple chunks you can see reflecting on the light that need to be addressed, but I think for the most part, I got. The seams, or the engine joins, on the outside anyway, taken care of. Um, got the, the join on the top done, right? And uh, the whole halves in the front, those are good. I haven't turned the lights on yet to see if I got all the light leaks, but I uh, uh, got the seams down the front, those are gone. There's uh, a couple more on the bottom need to be addressed but we'll take those as we get to them and then all the rest of this garbage <laughs> so yeah bit by bit piece by piece and i think we're getting there almost there in the ultimate test here let's see i think got them all Seeing any leaks on the head. It's good. Good. Did see this one though. Look at that. Yeah, that nacelle split. Hell yeah. I'm gonna have to uh get that guy. Nothing bad on the back end. That's gotta go for sure. And same on the other side. Yeah, just not as pronounced. So Got all your light leaks. And the seams on that nacelle are good. They didn't crack. Excellent. This one, bottom side's good. Just that top side. Wow. Man. Okay. And well, well we knew we were going to have to do some more on there anyway. And. Haven't done the back bit all the way yet, but I'm looking like that one's covered too. Oh yeah, 
almost there. Cool. Right on. I gotta, uh, once I get the paint done after all of the puttying and sanding is complete, I gotta come through and put in uh, my canopy glue for all the windows. So at the moment you can see, unless it's, you can't really see them from the side unless the camera's shining right at them. So I'll take care of that with a little canopy glue and they'll be fine. Then slap it with a clear coat to seal it. And then probably a nice dull coat to get rid of the shiny plastic look. Right on. Yes, Romulan Warbird.